Archaeologists study human history by digging up and analysing items from the past. Chen is a volunteer with a community archaeology group. At the weekends, she helps to dig at an archaeological site. The volunteers have to record exactly where each item is found. They do this by using a coordinate grid laid over a map of the site. The volunteers have found the wall of a building. It runs in a straight line from minus 125, 100 to 150, minus 75. Draw the position of the wall on the grid. So I've got two marks for this question, so I can spend four minutes. The important information that I want to note is I've got this coordinate and this coordinate, and I need to draw the position. Okay, and it's a straight line. So first of all, I need to remember that whichever is the first coordinate, minus 125, that's my one that goes across. It always goes across first. So minus 125 to 100 gives me a point which is minus 125. So that's the middle one between the minus 100 and the minus 150, because my scale will go up in even increments, and then it's 100, so it's on the positive one. So I'm gonna draw a little dot here, and then the other coordinate, I'm going to place, uh, it's 150, so that's 150, across so that's on the positive one 150 so that's here and then minus 75 so i need to go down and place my dot here and then importantly i don't just need to mark these two points i need to draw the position of the wall and the wall is a straight line so i'm going to need to draw a straight line onto this grid. So from this point to this point. If I was doing this paper-based, I would use a ruler. If I was doing this in an online assessment, then I would use the online drawing tools. So I'm just going to double check that I've answered the question. It's a straight line from minus 125, and these must go up in 25, 25, 50, uh, 7,500, yep. So minus 125, 100, yes, that's correct. Uh, 150, and then minus 75. So yeah, that's correct, and I've drawn the straight line. So I'm happy with that. I can move on to my next question. 